Hello people, welcome to another edition of A Dose of Drew. This is another knife unboxing. This here is a NASCO. I'm a little behind. This is the black stone washed from Ben Banters over at NASCO. Let's see what we got here with the Lander. I am excited for this knife for multiple reasons, not the least of which being that I did not cut the entire sticker. Uh, <laughs> that's not the least of the reasons, but let's continue. Oh, and there it went. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, God. The Joker in me totally wants to make fun of Ben for believing in the moon landing, but the physicist in me says that's just not even worth joking about. All right. This knife is sharp. Well, thank goodness. Thank you, Ben. All right, let's see what we can do with this little sucker here. Oh, that's a nice action. That's actually pretty snappy. Wow, this is, uh... wow. Not what I expected, but in a, in a better way. This is, <laughs> well done. Well done on what I, I don't want to call it a basic knife, um, but it is a, it is in a way such a thing in a all of the best ways. This is a standard knife. It is it's not drop shut, but it's probably a little it probably will work into me. So it has snappy. At, oop, right, yeah, it's not going to work very well if it the table's in the way. You can definitely reverse flick both. Things the studs are no thicker than the knife, which makes it nice. You can pinch up and it gives you a place to do so. So if you do need to get up and have absolute control, there's this rounded spot does kind of put you on the blade. It does give you a thing, but if you're in a pinch grip, there's actually enough room, except for the fattest of fingers, uh, to be able to reach in there. And in the saber grip, it's not even uh, a problem. And if you're going to do the normal, like, over plenty of room. This is uh, well done. That curve, sort of the lob here, as it goes into a slightly larger grind, giving you a, a more out near the tip, uh, uh, more of a slicey profile in here, just in a natural sort of extra curve, where this curves up more than the blade does. It's pretty nice. Uh, a little bit of geometry to just make it better, which is pretty darned cool, quite honestly. Liner lock, skeletonized, at least on one side, so it's it's a clip side heavy if you're a thrower. And of course, the claim to fame that I will ha that I am going to do more, I have already downloaded the file. Um, and I'm gonna be emailing Ben about the possibility of doing things with this as well. Um, as far as the swappable liners, you can download the 3D printable file. It is basically a 3D printer or otherwise file. I can, I'm can. i concerned more about machining and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned more about redu reductive manufacturing methods than additive manufacturing methods myself. But that's for a whole different thing. Anyone who has followed me may know that I do have some things out there for swappable inlays strangely enough uh, but yeah wow really nice i got this this is uh i expected it to be oh, i hate to say it but in some ways this is better than the the, the banter as a grab it and do all knife less than a hundred bucks it's a, I, I believe these are about 50 bucks for the land or something somewhere around there it it, it uh, 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 basically the fair amount for something that's got all the stuff you're looking at one-handed opening locking all that sort of all that sort of thing in today's market you're probably looking at a minimum of around 50 bucks for something that's useful and it it can go up for and it depends on what you're looking like it can go up to more for special things and you can find some things that are definitely less right well that one's not so much less but uh you can find other things that are definitely less. 
while still providing a very, very, very good knife. In fact, wow. Pull that up here and I'm kind of looking at it going, really? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. It is approximately the size of the chirp. I just wanted to get that out here, talk about it less, but uh, there's there's a comparison that's a, an interesting one. Uh, I like the chirp quite a bit, and uh, I have a feeling, just from this initial impression, I can see why so, this is. I can see why so many people like it. This is a if you're someone who doesn't care about the fancy like. You like to live vicariously through reviewers and other people who get all these fancy knives. But you're like, look, I just need one knife that's going to do good stuff. Um, it isn't super fancy. But, man, oh, man, is this a good little pocket knife. Just uh, I can tell you right now. Just grab it onto it. I can't wait to see more. We'll see how the edge and see how they did on it. But the design is right on it. And I got to give uh, Ben credit on this one. Uh, NAS Company... NAFSCO and what is up guys did a pretty good job on here this is the d2 there is also a new 14c28n version that came out that is pretty apex i can wow i can uh let me see if i can't uh that's pretty good That is, uh, yeah, for light plastic. That's pretty darn good, I gotta admit. All right, so that, I'm gonna really good first impression here on the NAFS Lander. Really, really, really cool. I, I can't wait to get more reviews in there. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. This has been another dose of Drew. Go ahead, take this video, watch it twice, comment as much as you like, be mindful of side effects. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been your dose of Drew. I am Sajoo. You guys have a great rest of your night.